So here we have our first test. With, this is with the low quality uh, vinegar burn off stuff. So let's have a look what we got here. We got two contacts, one going on top and one going on bottom. The bottom is the cathode. And now I've got a pile of that magnetic powder that we collected from the burn off and I'm holding it with a magnet right up kind of above on the wall next to it. Now this is the simple first test so I'm just going to drop it on and see how it reacts. Wow, okay, so it went down. And that definitely proves that it's inhibiting the um, conduction because uh, currents or movement uh, help it out and uh, produce a higher voltage usually. So dropping this stuff on there and it's definitely creating water currents as it falls down. That should be increasing the voltage. But what we're seeing is a dropping voltage, which means that it itself is uh, blocking the reaction to some degree. Um, it could be conducting it as well itself, and maybe it's just slightly more resistive or less a less good electrochemical conductor than the copper. So we're going to have to do some further tests and see how, what happens. Okay, so here we've got the next test of the uh, the ferrous powder. So what we've got here is, uh, ignore the bottom section here, this is actually for a future experiment. I'm just using the, uh, the foundation I've built. And uh, up here we've just got a container with constant agitation applied, salt water inside. Now you're not going to be able to see very well, but this thing on the side here is basically, it's a nail uh, wrapped with uh, magnetic wire. And then just in front of the nail is a, uh, a copper contact. The nail is coated with a cyanoacrylate, so uh, just to keep it waterproof. So we've got a magnet pushed up right behind a contact, and now we're going to try to affect it by pulling the 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 powder close to it. Uh, give me a second to set up here. Okay, first things first. Let's test the circuit. So I've got a little over a volt coming off a DC power source, and it's going through the water just fine. And now we're going to take this. This is a mixture of uh, a recent harvest of uh, medium quality stuff. Uh, some of this harvest had some rust, regular rust growing in it, but uh, I think I got most of it out. So it's relatively refined. And now I'll put you down over here. And I'm going to add that in. That's about as much as I can add before it'll start coming out of my uh, my hole there. So I might not have enough in there, but let's see. So uh, we should still have current. Yeah, it's still conductive. This is my potentiometer. It controls this DC power source, which is hooked up to the electromagnet behind the contact. So now we'll turn on the power and we're going to turn up the electromagnet. Oh wow, 9.4. Does that go up if I release the electromagnet? No, it does not. 9.25232221. 20. Turn it off. 19 still going down. Okay, so I managed to pour in uh, the rest of the black stuff, but uh, I also spilt quite a bit, as you can see. But I think I doubled the concentration in there, so um, I think we got a chance now. And uh, we'll flip on the power, and we'll let it settle a bit. Uh, actually, I believe this is off. So let's let it settle with the magnet off. Seven, nine, six, nine, eight. Okay, it's bouncing a little bit. It's relatively stable. And now let's turn on the magnet. Oh, it's dropping faster than it was. Uh, let's see if we can reverse that trend by turning the magnet off. Stalled. Um, yeah, it's going back up. Wow. Okay, let's see if it reacts again. Down. Good, good, good. Up. Good boy, there we go. Okay, it works. The effect is nowhere near as strong as I was hoping. Um, that's probably because the particles themselves are conducting. But uh, we're getting the reaction we want. It's uh, reacting 
to the magnet. It's collecting up, obviously. Too bad we can't see it, and it's blocking the conductivity. Next step is to see how we can increase the effect. Uh, and if it's possible to increase it high enough to uh, even potentially get signal gain. Uh, let's see what we can do with this. Okay, now we're going to try increasing the voltage. Uh, same mixture, same solution we just used. Um, only difference is this time I'm going to take the uh, signal voltage, the one we're running through the water, and I'm turning it all the way up to 12 volts. Um, we'll just go right to the top. Before I was using 12 volts to control the magnet, and I still am, the same voltage on the magnet. So before we were using 12 volts to flip a signal of 1.5. Now we're going to try flipping 12 with 12 and see what we get. Um, I might uh, oxidize my uh, anode a little quickly, so we might only get one shot at this. And uh, keep it on off position, and flip her on. Okay, so we've got 7.72. It's pretty steady, actually. Well, not that steady, but let's try it now. Turn it up. Oh, it's dropping much more significantly, too. The significance definitely is affected by the voltage. And allow it back up. Oh, and it reacts even quicker too. This is very inspiring. Down and up. Okay, now it's going down, 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 down. And that's probably because I'm using up my salt. Oh no, it's relatively stable. Okay, and down. Wow, look at her drop. And up and she goes up. Okay, the reactivity is not as clean as I'd like it. And go down and go up. And go down and go up. Okay, so it is working. Um, we're dealing with relatively volatile conductivity here, so we're going to have to play with that a bit. Now, it's probably because I'm using way too much voltage and I'm, anodi uh, cat uh, I'm oxidizing my anodes. So, we're going to flip the voltage down a bit here now. We're going to try it again at a lower setting. So, we're using, let's use 6 volts. And we're getting 4 through the water at the offset, off stage. It's dropping relatively quickly and we turn up the magnet. And it starts shooting down and turn up and down and up and down so here's an inside look at the unit we were just using it's very simple it's a bottle with uh, a way to add water uh, a motor attached to an agitator and over here like I said inside of this there is a nail wrapped with a uh, uh, magnetic wire and then on this side on the inside let's dissect it here on the inside here where it pokes out the head of the nail and over top of the head of the nail is a copper contact between them is cyanoacrylate to insulate between them so the nails not conducting at all there's just a copper contact right over top of the head it's been corroded and it's covered in the black stuff so you can't see it but that's what's uh, being blocked off and then the agitator is just a piece of straw cut in half glued to a wire attached to a little DC motor. Very, very simple. It works. Um, now, achieving signal gain is an entirely different issue. It's going to take a lot of refining of the process, so there's going to be a lot of evolution needed over time to, uh, to get anywhere near a gain. But the principle is starting to seem feasible, at least, or is showing promise.